Come on, Soda Pop, let's go. My name is Bruce Danielson, City of Sioux Falls. Yesterday, April 20th, 2015, each member of the Sioux Falls City Council received an email from me. For those who do not know of it, three topics were covered. One, thanking your city clerk, Lori Hogstead, for her assistance during our time on the Minnehaha County Election Review Committee. Number two, there was something I mentioned from the city, Sioux Falls City Charter, section 30.014 under the header agenda. And lastly, a potential criminal act which happened right here in this chamber as Lori was preparing to give her presentation. For over 20 years, I've attempted to work with the city government through proper channels as an average citizen. Like many others, we're, we're told we're wrong because of an arcane step in a process was missed. It is interesting I was arrested last summer by this very administration, put in jail, and found not guilty by a state of South Dakota court. Some say it was to shut me up for being an active citizen. Over the last three years, I've made trips to this city council expressing not only my frustration, but some frustrations of thousands of other Sioux Falls residents. These frustrations can be seen in recent city and school petition drives gathering over 33,000 signers. These signatures should be a wake-up call to everyone here. There must be changes to our system of Sioux Falls government. I am looking at counselors in front of me who have the power to change the process. This body must be made a real legislature. As a group, you must function as an oversight body to check and control the executive branch. We have been in contact with legal counsel and offer this advice. When we formally asked this council to postpone all official action tonight, given the failure to comply with South Dakota and a very clear city charter on open meeting rules. Any official action here tonight may be negated by the failure to comply with these laws. Two, I remind the council it is supposed to be a beacon for the law. And as the lawmaking body of the city of Sioux Falls, you need to set the standard for fidelity to the law. You swore an oath to follow the charter, our city's constitution. The administ administration is supposed to follow the law, so it is only right to hold them accountable as they did to me last summer. It's not personal, it's the rule of law. The four, the failure to issue a, an agenda does not constitute an emergency session. If this precedent is allowed to be established by this council tonight, what's to say there isn't one uh, unknown business being conducted tonight or in the future, buried by another emergency? There are several items, if given the time to investigate, could show potential ethical and legal questions. And two, in the future, it means the precedent set tonight could be used by successive councils to ignore the open meetings laws by simply declaring an emergency. This is a loophole meeting of question of legality. If you wish to play games with people's lives, go ahead with the meeting. We see several dozen items you will vote on tonight, which could be appealed with financial penalties against this city. We have watched our city government function as one loophole on top of another. So as I finish tonight and take my hard hat, let me leave you with a pet peeve my rocket engineer father used to complain about, and that's leaners and stackers. Eventually, the pile falls over and hurts someone. This meeting is not a special meeting in any way, shape, or form. It is once again a dubious way to get around very clear laws. The weight of these laws may fall over and hurt much more than the back of my head did last week. This meeting must be adjourned. And thank you. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else who want to engage the council? Well, very good. We appreciate that. Uh, item no. Let's go back now to the Mr. items. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Yes. Uh, I was wondering if we could get a comment from our city attorney about the first comments that were made about this particular meeting. This is a special meeting. Uh, I think we should have a response uh, to that. If our city attorney could respond. David, please. Uh, Councilor Staggers, this meeting has been duly and lawfully noticed and we are lawfully holding 
business and considering everything on your agenda tonight. There was an extra step taken in terms of the notice provided for the agenda as there were some difficulties posting by five o'clock on Friday. That is not required by state open meetings law. And it was posted on Monday well in advance of the 24 hour notice. However, to be copacetic with both state open meeting law and with our own ordinances, we also took the extra step of calling it a special meeting as well. You are conducting lawfully your business. David, thank you. Appreciate it. We'll now move on. Come on, Soda Pop, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs>